All right, day 33 of my journey to a half a million dollar stock market portfolio. So let's start with my equity. So in my margin account, 74.30. In my TFSA, 56.528. And in my RSP, 17.090. That's a total of 81.048. So executions. So I made an earnings trade today on Chipotle Mexican Grill expiring this week, October 25th. Did an iron condor trade, five point wide. I sold the 885 call, bought the 890 call, and then I sold the 760 put, and I bought the 755 put for protection. Collected about $165 from this. Obviously my max loss is the difference, so 500 minus 160 is my max loss, so about $340. But max loss is achieved only if Chipotle Mexican Grill by October 25th is either way past 890 or way past 755. So below 755 or above 890, I achieve max loss. Now the stock was trading at around 825, 825 when I place this trade. And it all depends now what's going to happen after earnings, where the stock is going to go. Only going to find out tomorrow morning when the market opens. We'll try to close out the trade early don't necessarily have to wait till expiration. So I collected $165 from there, but might close it for less profit. I also made a an earnings trade on Lockheed Martin. Collected about $75 to open this trade, but I closed it today for about $40. So made $35 of profit minus commissions. I'm left with $19 of net profit. So it's a small amount. Commissions ate up a big part of it, but percentage wise, it was a good trade and in fact Lockheed Martin it ended up between my strikes of 385 and 360 but I don't want to take the risk and wait till expiration because it can go past these strikes come expiration of October 20 October 25th so I'd, I'd rather close the trades early I also sold a put credit spread on Boeing at 300 so a 300 strike expiring November 22nd collected about $80 so now Boeing has earnings tomorrow morning so as long as Boeing stays above 300, I keep my profit of $80 come November 22nd, but most likely I'm going to close out the trade early. I'm not going to wait till November 22nd, so I won't be making the max profit of 80. So MasterCard, this um, call credit spread that I had that expires this week, looks like it's going to do well. Um, it's going to expire worthless. MasterCard dropped from 270 to 260. So it dropped 10 points from Friday, and I was actually worried about, about it going to 287, and it... it went the other direction. Now for sure, this one's gonna expire worthless. MasterCard's not gonna move up 27 points in two days. So I have nothing to do with this. It, I'm gonna let it expire worthless. Now Nvidia, this call credit spread on Nvidia caused me a lot of trouble today because Nvidia reached 200 and my strike is 202.5 until November 8th. But the market dropped towards the end of the day and now I'm in a safer position. I'm still in the losing position, but much safer. Collected about uh, $80 or $88 for this trade. And as you can see, if I want to close it right now, I close it for about $140. So I'd be losing about $50, $60. This morning, if I, it was trading at almost $2, so I would have been losing almost $112. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this one. I might have to close early just to avoid a bigger loss. It really depends on, on how Nvidia moves. I've got this other Nvidia call spread at 210, but this one's doing better because 210 is further than 202.5 and it's actually showing me a profit right now i could close it early for about a 35 dollar profit but i'm gonna wait till expiration on this one i've got a call spread that i sold on roku at a 160 strike collected about 80 dollars or 85 dollars and it's already showing me a small profit because roku dropped today to 127 when i sold this call spread roku is trading at 133 but of course i'm not going to close it for 20 dollar profit i'm going to try to hold on to it as long as i can because i don't think roku is going to jump up to 160. i've got three different iron condors on the russell 2000 so two of them expire november 29th one of them expires november 15. the one on november 15 has a 1585 call strike so this one's this one could be a little bit in trouble but i've got a put spread at 1460 so this one's safe it's actually showing me a profit as you can see here, but the call side is showing me a small loss, but I still have time. These ones, of course, November 21, I still have a lot of time. Got a call spread at 1610 and 1620, and I've got a put spread at 1480, 1465. SNC jumped today, it was trading yesterday below 18, now it's trading at $20. Remember, I had a, I sold a call option on Monday at a strike of 21, collected $25, but now you can see it's worth $60. So if I had just waited, 
would have collected much more. But of course, I, I had no way of knowing that it was gonna jump to $20. I've got five credit spreads or iron condors on the SPX. They all expire November 15. So this call spread at 3085 seems safe. This one's at 3100 also seems safe. This one at 3125 is even safer. I mean, SPX is at 29 something, 2995. Although it went all the way up to 3010 today, but or even 3015, but it dropped to 2995 at close. So that's why I feel confident about these call strikes here 3085, 3100, and 3125 by November 15. If I actually have the chance to close it early for a decent profit, maybe I could do that. Maybe for the 3085, but I'm not too worried about the 3100 or the 3125. But I have one. I have two strikes at 3050 and 3070 that I might be worried about because it's pretty close and right now they're showing a loss so these ones I have to worry about either manage them we'll see how the market moves but these ones I have to keep an eye on now on the spy I've got five trades on the spy two call spreads and th three iron condors but two of them have a good chance of expiring worthless these call spreads at 307 and 308 October 30th and October 25. And then I have, a, I have an Iron Condor expiring November 26th, November 22nd. And the two others expire November 29th. But they still have a lot of time. So I don't have to worry about it right now. Even if it goes against me because the market is cyclical, there's a chance that it comes back down or goes back up. So I don't have to worry about it right now. But I keep an eye on it every day. If I have a chance to close for at least 50% profit, I'll take it. So Uber is trading at 32.5, but I sold a call option at 31.5. My cost is 40. So this one's going to be a little bit problematic because I don't want my shares to get taken away at 31.5 because my cost is 40. So either I hope for Uber to drop back down to 31.5 come October 25th, or I'm going to have to roll the call option. Now, if I roll the call option by clicking create order, I'll remove the shares. I'll keep this one because I'm going to have to buy it back. As you can see, to buy it back, it'll cost me about $1.30. But if I try to sell another one, let's say next week, November 1st, and I if I pick a 32.5 strike, I'm going to have to pay for it. It's going to be a small amount, though. It's not so bad. I'll have to pay about $20 to roll this call option to the next week and at a higher strike so i don't so i avoid losing my shares at 31.5 or what i could do is pick the same strike of 31.5 but this time i'll do it for a credit so i'm actually going to get something for rolling over to the same strike and i'm basically giving myself an extra week for hopefully uber to drop below 31.5 for whatever reason and by doing by giving myself an extra week i'm actually collecting a premium for that so that could be an option for uber but won't decide that now. So besides that, nothing special in my TFSA, nor my RSP. Uh, the Qs though dropped hard. It was trading at 193. Now it's trading at 191.85. And I think even after market, it's trading at 190. So that's kind of cool because my strike is 191. So I get to, hopefully, I don't have to buy back the call option like I've been doing every week. Hopefully this one will expire worthless. And then the next call option I sell will be for a higher premium and I collect more. If you look at the execution on the queues, when I first started this cover call trade on the queues, I collected $151. And then the second week, the queues dropped, so I only was only able to collect $68 for the week. And then the week after that, it dropped even more, so I was only able to collect $56. Then the week after that, the queues went up, so I had to buy it back for $142, but I sold it for $272. So I kept the difference of about $130. So first week $151, second week $68, third week $56, fourth week $130, and then this week, same thing, I had to buy it back and then collect it $288. So I got a difference of about, I believe, $95. So I collected $95 this time. Now hopefully this week I can collect more depending on where the queue is trading at. I wanted to trade below 191, but not too far from 191. So yeah, that's all for my trades this week. Let me know what you think of this NVIDIA call spread. I don't know if I should close it early or just let it ride till November 8th because it keeps testing me on the call side, of course, the 202.5. I'm thinking of if it reaches three times the value of the credit I received. So I received about $88. So if it reaches about $240, I see right now it's worth $146. If it reaches $240, I might close it early for a loss, but then sell another call spread maybe at $215 or something. A little bit higher so 
I'll lose money on this initial spread, of course, but I'll collect something by selling another call spread, but a little bit higher. Or I could keep it, I could, and then I could sell another call spread a bit higher, but also sell a put spread at around 180, for example. So to collect the premium from the put side and collect the premium from another call spread. And hopefully that reduces my max loss on this trade if I just hold on to it till November 8th. But max loss is about $412, so it's a lot of money. That's why I'd rather close the trade early. If it reaches three times the credit, I think I'm gonna close it early. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And like always, if you can open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below the video to get up to $250 back. Thanks for watching.